YouTube fam, what is going on? It is your boy Dylan Flex. Yes, guys, we are back at it again with another video. If you are just tuning into the channel and you're into sneaker reselling, clothes, want to get more into it, want to take your business to the next level and make some money, this is the channel for you guys. So smash that subscribe button. So today we actually have something very cool. I've been expressing and telling you guys how I've been buying, 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 right? And yes, if you are in Las Vegas or you're making a trip to Las Vegas, we cannot make it easier for you guys. It is no consignment, no waiting, cash up front. Sell those sneakers that are in your closet that are just taking up space, guys. Make sure you DM me on Dylan Flex or Capital Vegas, guys, if you are selling pairs. Today, we have something special and I'm excited to share with you. This is most of the pairs. So I did a $20,000 buyout for the past couple days and a big shout out to my people. I love the sneaker community. I also love the sneaker community in Las Vegas, guys. So a big shout out to everyone that messes with the kid. You have been asking asking and I am finally giving you guys what you want and what you need. So here it is. This was a big buyout. I know Valentine's Day is coming out. I'm probably gonna drop the video today. Hopefully, today is Monday. I got base sizes and everyone's like, are you gonna get girl sizes? Are you getting girl sizes? Yes, I got girl sizes. So you girls out there, wait no further. It is here. And I mean, I got hyped girl sizes. So if you're a guy and you're watching this, you might be in trouble. You're gonna have to get your girl a pair if she's watching this. And if you are watching this on YouTube, this is the first look of me explaining, showing, sharing with you guys. So this is why it's so important to subscribe to the YouTube channel because you guys see it here first and you guys get the steals. I also wanted to say, yes, guys, we are still doing mystery boxes. A huge shout out to everybody that I have been making money with. Multiple DMs on when am I gonna drop another box. I try to drop one every day. If we don't drop one every day, it's every other day. We wanna give you guys the opportunity to make money, especially during these times, and yes, People are buying them. They sell out so fast, guys. I did a video just to show you. It's not a joke. People are really buying this. So yes, this week we're gonna drop more and a lot of this stuff's gonna be in these boxes. So you guys are gonna make some real money. So we have a combination of brand new pre-owned sneakers like I always buy and I always advise you guys to buy too. So if you haven't seen the videos, yes, I buy both. I also think you guys should buy both too. When I mean used, I mean this kind of used. I mean like worn once, right? This is a size 12. I really put this one up for a steal. I can't wait for somebody to get this. So I have a couple pairs that I wanted to share with you guys before we even start, right? And I know you guys are seeing these two and you're like, oh man, this is really cool. These are Brad's. What are those, right? So I have a buddy in town, shout out my guy Jordan, right? That does custom shoes. So this is a pair of Bloodlines that he made into like cream Jordan 1s, brand new. So if you guys are into customs, want something different, maybe don't want to have a shoe that everyone has, I have some customs that he had made. So this shoe originally was the NC to Shy that got changed into a bread one. The quality on this is awesome, guys. This is a size 12 in women's. This was one of those shoes that I wanted to share with you guys because the quality that he did on this is insane. The detail work is insane. This is honestly a shoe that I probably would even wear too. So we're gonna put this up for a steal. I don't know if you guys don't like it because it looks like a bread one. Wanted the end seat to shy, but it is an awesome custom. My guy does great work. Jumping into the hype. We have a laced up brand new pair of Travis Scott's size nine. This is brand new. These will be up for grabs. Big shout out to my guy, Addicted to Shoes 671 for copping a lot of my shoes. Why I have such low prices? Because I want you guys to either keep the shoe or you can make money and resell it yourself, right? A lot of resellers put it for as high as they can, higher than StockX, not me. There are certain shoes that I sometimes have to, but most of the time, if you see it on the page, it's for us to make money, right? I mean, guys, we got the satins right here, women's sizes. A lot of these guys are size eight and a half, six, seven. We have more Jordan ones. I mean, condition wise, guys, on a lot of these, worn once. Speaking of hype right here, we got Sean's six and a half. If you want shoes in base sizes and you want a reseller wear yourself, these are great condition shoes, guys. So we have some snakeskin ones right here. We go back, I mean, come on guys. We have the Air Force Ones, I have two pairs of those. We have the Off-White Air Maxes in both colors. We have some crazy ones. Like I said, it's a combination of brand new used. I did spend some money on this. I was stoked when I got it. 
I haven't seen a pair of these in a minute too. All the girls always DM me for these. So if you guys want to scoop these up when I post them, I know these are going to fly. Also, not sure if you've checked the price on these bad boys lately. This is a beautiful shoe if you're a girl. Something about these, I don't know why. Girls look so hot when they wear these. I don't know what it is. When I see them on the gram flexing these, I'm like, sheesh, you girls look bad. OG Belugas. We have the set right here of some off-whites. A really, really good price. Shout out to Kobe. Flint's brand new. Those Kobe's are brand new. We have stuff like this for like 60 bucks, guys. We're gonna do steals, right? And of course, we have the UNC lows over here. Also have Red 11 lows. So guys, we have a combination of a ton of stuff that we're gonna put up on the website. So if you're watching the video now, make sure you guys check the Instagram for these steals. You are not gonna wanna miss out on this stuff. Ended up buying some more LeBrons, some more Court Purples, some Levi's 10 and a half. I'm gonna put those up, I think, for 550. The condition on those are amazing. More cements, more Yeezys, some rookies, Jordan 5s, doubled up on the 11s. I know you guys get such a kick out of looking at the stuff that I get. And this was a local buy. Shout out to my girl. She's awesome. Love doing business with her. She has a sick sneaker collection, man. Shout out to all the girls out there that have sick sneaker collections. You know, I could run through more of it, but I wanted to give you guys the gist and to share with you guys what is about to be up for grabs. So you do not want to miss out on these steals, right? Whether it's for personal or for resale. Number one question I've been getting lately is, Dylan, how much money do I need to start sneaker reselling? And that's a very interesting question, right? What I started with, I didn't have a big bankroll to start. I wasn't doing five, 10, 15, $20,000 buyouts, right? I built my bankroll up. I told them that I started with $500, right? I started with $500, I flipped the money, and I kept reinvesting into the business. I know a lot of you are like I said, buy personals, eventually spend your money that you made profit-wise, and can't now buy inventory. I saw the long goal, and I saw long-term-wise, that if I kept flipping the money, I wouldn't have to come out of pocket and keep coming out of pocket and I can keep reinvesting. So my advice to you guys is start slow for the people that are starting, right? You don't have to do some crazy big buyouts and be stuck with the shoes too. If you guys do big buyouts, sometimes if you don't have a platform somewhere to sell, didn't buy it for a good price, now you're stuck with these shoes. And now you're complaining that you did buy all these shoes, now you can't sell them. So if it were me, I would start slow and I would be consistent. And that goes for everything. I know I say in all my videos, guys, consistency is key, right? You do not need a lot of money to start this, guys. I would keep reinvesting my money. That's the biggest thing I cannot stress enough to you guys. And if you're having issues with inventory, where to sell it, how to sell it, I've done a couple videos on that. I'll get into it just a little bit with you guys. I would start off with the mystery box. Number one, the mystery box, safe. It's profitable and it's easy inventory. And start with a mystery box, right? It's a combination of brand new, pre-owned, profitable stuff to get the bankroll going and to get you to buy more inventory, right? You guys can buy from other people, buy the box. You can never have enough inventory, enough good inventory. Also, another big one, stop buying early shoes or shoes in general to flex and not to make profit. These shoes have to be profitable. It's cool that you guys get early shoes and it is a flex, if you can't sell the shoe or you're just gonna wear the shoe, lose money on it, it's not a flex, guys. The big flex is having a big bank account, right? You flexing your shoes is a cool thing for the gram, but not when it comes to sneaker reselling. Don't worry about your profit margins being 50% as long as you're flipping the shoe, making money, reinvesting in your business, with time, you will be exactly where you need to be. You guys have to manifest this. I just was having this conversation with my father, right? Manifesting your goals is no joke and it's a real thing, guys. I cannot stress that enough. Keep doing your thing and I promise you guys, we'll get to where you wanna be, right? The Monday, I'm feeling motivated. I hope you guys are feeling motivated too. We're gonna continue more sneaker tips, helping you guys out, more mystery boxes. I can't thank you guys enough for the positivity, the love, the comments. This is exactly why I do what I do, guys. And let's make some money together, guys. Until next time. Man, I just wanna go fast. Hold on my teeth and on my neck.